most of the airlines bringing people into or taking people out of the country are foreign owned. The majority are from the Middle East and Europe. But discussions are now underway in Uganda about the possibility of reviving a national airline. It brings in investment and investors look at it as a quick means of accessing your country and therefore their investment and doing business with you. Uganda's national carrier was liquidated back in 2001, largely due to unpaid debts. However, there are concerns that Uganda may not have the capacity to run its own official airline. We have seen that airlines are not particularly profitable. The initial investment is huge and we do have so many other competing needs. Health facilities, for example, the new focus on getting our health infrastructure back up to date, that is what we need. The possible revival of Uganda Airlines comes in a wake of British Airways suspending flights between Entebbe International Airport and Heathrow Airport. The reason given for this decision is that the flights were not commercially viable, but investors say the national carrier does not necessarily have to make money. It's bigger than profit. It, most of the infrastructure of the country, you don't look at it in terms of what profit it will make. You look at it in terms of what other benefits, what other contributions to the economy it will make. You cannot always quantify things in terms of profit and so on. The region's biggest carrier, Kenya Airways, recently announced a $257 million loss, its third and biggest loss in the last three years. But business leaders say the government shouldn't have to incur the costs alone. We should be having an East African airline so that we can all chip in. Kenya has had a very successful run. Rwanda has come up. Tanzania has been struggling. But we could form an East African airline, and this airline would be flying in all our regional centers and flying. And, and I think it could become profitable. It is believed a new Ugandan airline would increase tourism in the country, as well as trade and investment in Uganda, which could potentially be hugely beneficial to Uganda's economy. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Entebbe, Central Uganda.